Okay, so in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Vim Subversive plugin by a guy named uh, Sphere Moulin, I think. I don't know, I probably butchered that name as well. Uh, which introduces a new operation to Vim called the, the substitute operation, which uh, essentially, um, usually what you want to do is say I have this text down here and I delete it. And um, say I come up here and say it turns out I wanted to replace uh, the text in these inner quotation marks with the text I just deleted. Um, you typically have two options. You can just paste the text you just deleted and then uh, delete the rest of the of the text within the quotation marks and that that, that usually works. But uh, it's you know it's not the most efficient way to do it. Uh, you could also uh, do this. You could select a register, say maybe register A, and then uh, put the contents into register A so that when you come here you can delete the inner quotes uh, with ease but then you can also easily just uh, paste the contents of register A uh, afterwards which is typically I guess the, the best way you can do it without any plugins but uh, with the substitute command substitute command it makes this uh, a bit easier so you don't have to uh, pre-select any registers, you can just delete into the default register, uh, come uh, to where you want to substitute and just uh, choose, in our case, the inner quotation marks. So it would be S for substitute, inner quotation marks, and that just substitutes the text within the inner quotation marks with the text in our uh, default register, which is pretty cool. Uh, so the plugin comes with uh, other what do you call it? <laughs> Other mappings. Uh, so if you do SS, that substitutes uh, the whole line. But it also comes with uh, some other operations, I would say. So, oh wait, uh, before I get there, uh, say you don't want to substitute with what's in the default register. Uh, let's say I come here and take uh, the word Motoko and I put it in register B. So if I select register B and then just yank the word uh, uh, Motoko um, or Motoko, I can then come to this line and say I just wanted to substitute uh, the word like with what's in register B. I would select register B and then uh, substitute the word like with substitute in a word. So you can uh, select registers with which you want to substitute with. Yeah, so that's the main operation, uh, the substitute operation. And then there's also another another mapping, which is just a quick uh, substitute until end of line, which is uh, shift S. And that just substitutes until end of line. Uh, in our case, we still have, uh, I want to live in the, the default uh, register. So that's what it's substituted until the end of line with. And this, you know, it works from anywhere in the line. Yeah, that's the main operation. Uh, the next uh, few operations we're going to look at is sort of like an extra feature, which I usually don't use that much. I have other ways of doing it. But uh, you, the plugin allows you to substitute over a specific range. So the next mapping we're going to look at is leader S. So uh, the, the substitute over range operation uh, requires two arguments. One, what do you want to replace? And uh, the second argument, over what range you want to uh, replace. So in our case, let's say we wanted to find all instances of the word uh, the in this paragraph. So in a word within in a paragraph, uh, we would do leader s in a word within in a paragraph. And you can see it selected all instances of the within the paragraph. And now I'm in this prompt here at the bottom, and uh, by yeah, I'm in this prompt here at the bottom, which had the word the, but now I can actually just uh, replace the word outright, like uh, dancing, I don't know. And then you just hit enter, and it replaces all the instances of the word the within the paragraph. And you can see there's still a word uh, the uh, outside the paragraph, but it didn't get replaced because. Uh, it was not uh, within our second argument uh, in a paragraph. So that's uh, pretty cool if you need that. 
this uh, operation also works with the uh, with taking a register argument so let's say we took the word uh over here and we put it into say register a so I say register a now kuze is in register a so if i paste from register a it, it pastes uh, the word uh, kuze so if you want to do the same thing here where we uh, uh, replace all instances of the word d within the paragraph if i specify register a then leader s and then in a word in a paragraph it takes whatever's in the register and um, it replaces uh, it uses that as the the instead of the prompt okay. and just a note my leader is mapped to space so you would have to use whatever your leader is mapped to uh, the next operation we have is similar to the previous one but it by default has no prompt and that is uh, with with leader r so if I come here and uh, do uh, leader r in a word in a paragraph by default it takes the default register contents so we, we had um, I want to live in our default register and it'll just take the default register contents and replace what we selected uh, with the default register contents okay uh, this uh, the leader r also takes in a a register as a as a prefix argument so let's say I wanted to I think it was yeah it was in register a we still have kuze in register a if i do a double quotes a leader r in a word in a paragraph it it uses register a instead to do the replacement without a prompt but in that case it, it sort of acts the same way as the leader s mapping uh, oh yes i forgot to mention uh, with leader s there's also a special leader ss mapping which by default will select the word under your cursor and then the, the the argument you give is the range so in our case if we did in a paragraph so i think leader ss in a paragraph uh, we can then uh, replace the word here or change the word in whatever way we want uh, that's if because usually you're replacing one word versus um yeah usually you're, you're replacing one word instead of uh you know any other thing you do yeah okay never mind uh let me think so the, the i've been doing in a word in a paragraph this whole time but it can really be a text object or any motion so let's say i did a leader s in a word and shift g actually that doesn't make sense if i did uh, uh leader s in a word shift g now it just goes until the end of the paragraph it finds all of these until the end of the paragraph and then I can edit those as I wish. Uh, <clears throat> so it works with any text object and any motion you can think of. Usually it's, you know, in a paragraph or, well, depending on what you, you program with. Uh, the same with a uh, leader R. There's a leader RR which does the same thing, selects the word under the cursor for you. So if I do a leader RR in a paragraph, um, it replaces all instances with the word D with the default register contents which at this case is still um, uh, uh, I want to live. Okay, uh, next we have a, a final mapping, which is the same as leader R, but with, with the option to confirm. No, wait, it's the same as leader S, I think, but with the option to, to confirm instead of doing the replacement outright. So if I do a leader S, oh wait, it's a, the, the mapping is leader CR, so confirm R. So leader CR in a word, in a paragraph. Okay. And then I must choose what I must, what I want to replace the word with. Let's say I want to replace the word with there. And if I click enter, if you see at the bottom there, it will ask me if I want to confirm or, you know, deny. So if I confirm for the first one, it does the replacement. If I say no for the second one, it doesn't. I say yes for the next one, it does. No, for the last one it doesn't. So that's if you want to confirm each replacement you do. Okay. Uh, okay, so uh, that one also takes in a register argument. So if you want to replace with a specific register, I know it's, yeah, it's worth showing. 
So if I come here and um, if I do, yeah, in A we still have cruise A in register A. So if I do uh, register A, uh, leader C R in a word in a paragraph, uh, yeah, now it brings up the the confirm and it says replace with cruise and I can just say yes, yes, yes. So there's that as well. Uh, that's actually all of the operations. So uh, if we ha have a look, I've got a file with all the mappings because by default, the plugin doesn't actually map anything. You actually have to map all the stuff yourself. But if you read the the documentation, it, it, it gives you uh, like example mappings, which is what I've been using this whole time. So yeah, you see all the, the S, uh, SS and then Shift S, all the mappings uh, over here. Uh, you can you can find these in the docs again but uh, there are some options which you can set um, the first one here being uh, a let g subversive prompt with current equal zero this is the default setting um, so what this means is um, by default if i do leader yeah leader s it oh no uh, so i've currently i i had this set to one so uh, my bad I had the set to one, so if I do this uh, over here, when I was doing the leader S mapping, so leader S in a word, in a paragraph, at the bottom here at the prompt, you can see the word, uh, the, and uh, the rest of the stuff in the, um, the prompt there, you don't have to um, worry about, it's, it's just a normal substitution command, it's just being put there automatically. If you know about substitutions, this should look um, unfamiliar. So with that setting i just showed you now put to one by default it puts the word the in the prompt here so if you want to completely replace you have to backspace and then you know um choose you know words you want to replace with okay but by by default uh if i come here by default this uh setting is zero which i should have just had this set to default and if i just reload this buffer uh, and if we, let's see, two point two. If I do the same command now, uh, leader s in a word in a paragraph, you can see there's nothing in the prompt here at the bottom. So by default, I have to you know uh, type in to actually change. So by default, it's it's zero, but then you can change it to one if you if you want. Okay. Uh, if I can just <laughs> see this. And then the next uh, setting you can set is uh, let G subversive current text register equal and then you can put a single letter or a single digit in there and what that will do is uh, say um, this is back with the leader S, the, the leader R and the leader CR, yeah, CR like the, <laughs> the replacement operation. Uh, what it will allow me to do is if I currently have the, the previous setting set to zero, so if I do leader S in a word, in a paragraph, right, nothing is in there. But let's say I actually did want to just, you know, um, what do you call it, change the word the slightly. Uh, so I've chosen register R. If you saw the setting, I set it so that it takes the, the word that I'm replacing and it puts it into register R. So if you do control R, R, it puts the, the the register contents of R into the prompt here, and then you can you know append easily or you know modify easily easily. Okay, uh, so personally, uh, that's not where I wanted to go. Uh, I wanted to go to this file. So <laughs> this uh, screen screen key makes it hard to see. Uh, Personally, I don't usually set this thing. I, I leave this on zero, and then I do use this current text register because it's it's helpful if you know it's a big word you want to replace, but you want to change, but you don't want to change too much. Then you can use this. Uh, another thing, I don't use I don't use the the leader R and the leader C R uh, mappings. I just usually don't have use for them. I do use the leader S mappings, but I map them to my control S. And if you want to map to control S, you have to make sure that your your terminal and yeah, your terminal specifically has that 
unmapped because I think by default control s does like it pauses your terminal or something and yeah I think that's it for again I think that's it for for today don't know if I missed anything but uh yeah uh that's it for me cheers